Hello and welcome to Info Simcoe. My name is Madison Fitzpatrick and joining us in studio today is Jennifer from Marnie and Michael. Hi Jennifer, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I'm super excited for this interview because I love your company and what it stands for. So just tell our audience a little bit about what Marnie and Michael is. Yeah. So Marnie and Michael is a leather bag and accessory brand, but it's also a social enterprise. So we have a mental give back component to our company. So with every purchase of one of our products, um, we have a mental health initiative and we do advocacy work. We raise money for organizations and we just really try to end the stigma around mental health. So you're the founder of mm -hmm. the company. Why did you create this company and what makes it so special to you? Well, I was always involved in art and design, so I was trained as a designer, and then I moved into the film industry, and then when I started to have children, everything kind of changed with that. Um, but after I kind of took a break, I realized I wanted to get back to designing and designing on a hand, hands-on way. Um, so I had started to, had kind of, you know, that dream in the back of my head, maybe one day I'll do a bag line. So I really put energy into it and it took off. And in the meantime, I had always wanted to do something around mental health. I knew that this time as a business, it would have to be a social give back. So in some way, I wanted it to be around mental health. Um, I ended up losing both my parents during the development of the company, and I still didn't have a name for my company. And so I decided to name it my parents' honor, Marnie and Michael. Um, my mom was undiagnosed and untreated until she was in her early 50s with mental illness. So it's had a huge impact on my life, a huge impact on her life. And we just didn't have support. There wasn't awareness. Um, you know, I just really wanted in some way to kind of of take our experience and pay it forward. Absolutely, and I think your story has um, such value and people can relate to mm -hmm. you and your story. What makes the company so different? The fact that you, know, you are selling products, mm -hmm. you're selling these bags, which are incredible, um, by Thank the way, <laughs> um, but you're also supporting um, such a great cause and like you're saying, uh, you know, the stigmatism. What, what makes it so special? I think, I think that a lot of businesses, like social enterprises, especially in Canada, are popular. Mm -hmm. um, I think just naturally we are more socially aware in Canada. And you can be successful in business and still get back. Um, and so there's lots of businesses who are doing it, but in our unique way, this is how we want to do it. And I think being open and honest about the conversation around mental health is one of the biggest, most important things. And we do get a lot of feedback from people, whether it's through what we do on social media, whether it's a blog that we do on our website. Uh, we also have uh, self-published a mini memoir meets guided journal. And I don't go a week without somebody connecting and saying how much of an impact it even it's just to not feel alone and that's the biggest thing is that people just don't want to feel alone if they're going through this absolutely and I think that your company also has a lot to offer as well like not just on the fashion side but like you said you do have journals and mm -hmm. things like that like leather bound and I think that's just incredible mm. um, let's talk about the special event that you're having mm. your first annual <laughs> event <laughs> so we call it the spring revival so it's gonna be happening annually in Barrie we've attached it to mental health week in Canada so it's on Saturday May 6th we're doing a day Daytime event and an evening event. So during the daytime from 12 to 5, we have over 20 pop up markets. We have Cool FM, Rock 95, and Barry 360 there as, um, you know, just have games for the kids and stuff like that. Uh, we have a free Mother's Day activities for the children. So we've got um, a Mother's Day card station. We've got a coloring station. We have free popcorn. Um, we also have a guest speaker series. So every half hour, we're going to have a mental health guest speaker from the local area in Barrie. So we have over 10 guest speakers, all mental health related. And on top of that, we're also doing a silent auction. So all the money raised is going to the RVH Foundation. So that's the daytime event. And, and that's then all free, right? That's all public? free to the public. Incredible. Everybody can come to the guest speaker series, to the market, everybody can come. And then in the evening, we're flipping over to a private ticketed event. So it's a VIP fashion event. And this is going to be where we have a little bit more fun, we dress up a little bit. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we have the Roost Winery involved with a welcome drink for everybody. We have a free gift for everyone. We have delicious charcuterie boards and food passed around all night long. We have a fashion event with over 10 apparel brands doing spring looks for fashion. Um, and then on top of that, we have an intimate shopping experience again silent auction again, 
and again, all in awareness for mental health and raising money for the RBH Foundation. Oh my gosh, that's such, <laughs> there's so much going on. There is. Oh, wow. It'll be great, it'll be great. We're really excited. We want it to be fun, but it's all for a good cause, and we want to also be very much talking about what we want to talk about. Right, and the silent auction, what are some of the items that are? That so are every, every vendor who's there has a silent auction item. So we have vendors who are fashion apparel, um, home goods, we have some people who are selling food, um, decor, so it's really a little bit of everything. Incredible. So how can people go to the event? Where is it? What times? And yep. just how can how can they find out more about Michael? Yeah, Michael? so Seven Oaks Academy, which is where my kids go to school, they've generously donated their space for to us for the event, which is fantastic. Um, so they're located at 190 Cook Street. So it's uh, Cook and Steel Street on the east end of Barrie. And we have lots of parking in the area. Um, and then... Um, also, all of our social media, so we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, Arnie and Michael. Also, we have a special Instagram feed for the event, so Spring Revival. And our website, lots of information there. We have our own landing page, which I know you guys will be sharing with everyone. And where can people get tickets for the, the after hours? Through the website, they can get the tickets. There, we're about 50% sold, so Incredible. still a few more weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so exciting. Well, I'm so happy that you're able to come in today and tell us about the event, but also just about your company, Marnie and Michael. I think uh, it's it's incredible of, of what you're doing and, and how you're supporting that community. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity. Well, thank you for being here. <laughs> Stay tuned for more Info Simcoe.